My name is Al Capone and I would like to thank you for swooping back into the channel. Today we are going to be talking about the newest weapon that Treyarch has added to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and that is the EM2. I'm going to start off with the things that I am not 100% on and then we'll move into the things that I like and then at the end I'll tell you whether or not it's a weapon that I will keep a class on and rock out until I hit max level with. So starting off Number one, I'm not a huge fan of the fire rate. Yeah, it fires. So it doesn't fire as bad. No, I know that it's not an SMG and it shouldn't fire, you know, 6,000 rounds a minute. Something like that. But I do find that it is a little slow in the fire rate department. Now, I don't know if maybe they'll buff that in the future or if they'll keep it the same. But it's, it's pretty low on the list of things I don't like. So that's why it's the... You know, we'll call it the number five thing that I don't like about it, even though I don't think there are five things I don't like about the gun. The second thing, and it's it's not something that I totally dislike, but it's not something I'm a huge fan of, and that is the iron sights or the default sight or optic that comes with the with the gun. It's not bad when you're first starting out learning the gun, figuring out its recoil pattern, all that kind of thing. Uh, but it's, it's not my favorite. I was able, whenever I first unlocked it, I was able to pick off a lot of kills with it. But then as time went on and I started getting lit up by other people using, say, a three-time or the one that you see on screen, I decided, okay, it's time to start messing around with them now that I have a few of them unlocked. And uh, for the most part, the one that you see on screen, I've been doing pretty well with. Look at this guy. Like, get out and play the fucking game. Uh, for the most part... This one's been doing pretty well. Like I said, I might flop it out for a three-time or even, you know, like a red dot or something uh, to see to see how I fare. But for the most part, it's it's pretty good. Play around with it. Figure out, you know, it's all about personal preference. Figure out which one works better for you. The w number one thing that I do absolutely hate about this gun is the default mag that it comes with. 20 rounds. No good. It's garbage. I hate it. I couldn't wait until I unlocked the 25, and then I think from 25 it goes to 35, maybe? I'm not 100% sure on that. I have to double check. I'm not going to double check. Who cares? Just know that the uh, the default 20 mag, or the default 20 round mag is garbage. Uh, I, I've gotten myself into the habit of using the XM4 or the AK-47, being able to pick off a kill not having to reload, knowing that there is enough bullets. If I do run into an enemy, I can knock them down. And not even thinking about it, when I flip over to the EM2, I bag one kill on a 20, mount, or a 20 round mag, run into another enemy. I've got like four or five bullets left in the magazine and I end up dying. Uh, so just be aware of that. That is the biggest problem I have with the gun is that it only starts off with a 20 round mag. Now, the good thing about it is, is that as you grind the levels for it, you're going to unlock a bigger mag, which is good. And I understand that they have to keep it somewhat balanced. It is what it is. I find that the time to kill is good. Uh, I do get killed by it very fast. And then there are other times that I go to kill somebody with it and it's not nearly as fast. I don't know if that's just because of, you know, server lag and ping and all that. Uh, but for the most part, I am able to pick off uh, pretty much all the kills that I lock onto, which is good. Uh, even some at longer ranges, which I think you'll see here in a second, maybe. Or we already did see it. I'm not really sure. Is it this one? Or is it the next one? This one. Oh, no. Okay. Anyway. I am able to, to pick it off. And it's, it's pretty good. Uh, I love the fact that there is no recoil and if there is recoil it's very minimal on this gun and that is probably something that the, the Treyarch will uh, nerf uh, in coming patches uh, because I don't find that there is any uh, recoil on the gun at all which is good I like that I also find that when you are aiming down sight there's not a lot of a lot of idle sway on the gun once again, that could be something that they are going to uh, nerf in the in upcoming patches. I don't know if that's going to be a thing or if they're going to leave the gun completely alone. I will say that some of the nerfs and some of the patches... Some of the nerfs and some of the patches that we got for Season 5, I'm not 100% a fan of. 
the nerf to the LC-10 just really bothers me because it was my go-to weapon. There's that long shot kill I was talking about. Uh, I do love the fact that they buffed the recoil on the FFAR. The recoil on that gun was just ridiculous to the point where it was almost unusable in some, some cases. Uh, but, yeah. So, the big question. Will this be a gun that I keep a class on and grind out until max level? And the answer is yes. I definitely will. I am doing really well with it. Uh, it feels good. It kills the right way. I'm not losing a lot of gunfights with it. So there's all positive things. The only thing is play around with the attachments. Get your attachments to where it feels comfortable to you. Whether it be the sights. For me, it was definitely the sights and a bigger magazine. I can't believe that I let this guy fucking do that to me. So yeah, just play around with it. It's like all the other weapons in, in the game. Uh, you know, with the right attachments and the right map. And you being in the zone, it's, it's going to work well for you. Uh, I will touch on one thing because it is on the screen right now and it's in my head. I am glad that they added the flamethrower score streak. Uh, if anybody has been watching my videos since Black Ops 3, then you guys will know that my go-to operator was Firebreak, and I killed a shitload of people with that flamethrower of his. So I am super, super excited that they put that in the game, uh, and that's going to be on my class until the end of Cold War. And just to touch on it, because I know that there is a spoiler coming out today... Uh, on Warzone, well, not a spoiler, but a reveal for Call of Duty Vanguard. I am, I was on the fence about it originally because I'm not a big Sledgehammer game fan. Uh, I liked in, er, Advanced Warfare, but only for the zombie aspect of it. I wasn't a big fan of the multiplayer for it. But I have to say, and, you know, I didn't play WW2 because it was Sledgehammer and it just, it didn't look like it appealed to me at all. And that was the first time that I had taken a year off Call of Duty and then got back into it for Black Ops 4 and then, you know, missed out on Modern Warfare because, once again, Modern Warfare just didn't seem like it was a game for me. But I have to say, watching the teaser trailer and watching Exclusive Ace's leaks video on it, uh, Call of Duty Vanguard is looking pretty good and I can't wait for them to say, okay, you can pre-order the game now because I definitely will be doing that. Uh, I definitely want to get back into Call of Duty. I didn't realize I had missed it as much as I do. And yeah, the game frustrates the shit out of me. And I I hate it. But at the same time, I love the game. I love the franchise. So, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm very, very excited to see what they are going to do for, uh, for Vanguard. Not a big fan of the setting of World War II. Because I feel like, you know, two years ago you had that. World War II setting, and to go back into it, you know, let's try something fresh and new. The problem with saying that is that Call of Duty is pretty much just a cookie cutter of every other Call of Duty that has come before it. I get it, uh, but, you know, for Sledgehammer, I think they're just trying to cash in because WW2 was relatively successful from what I remember, and I think that they're just trying to recapture that uh, without you know, trying something new and, and, you know, allowing themselves a little bit of failure. Uh, I can't believe that we lost this, but I was lobby leader. I think the the other player on the team, I think he went negative. Uh, 23 and 5. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, so yeah, my thoughts on Vanguard. Uh, I will not be playing Battlefield because I'm not a Battlefield guy. So in 2042 or whatever the hell it comes out, uh, probably won't be in on that at all uh, even though the game does look stunning but yeah so that's what i think of the em2 and uh the future of call of duty which if i have a future of call of duty video on the channel i think i posted two or three days ago now if you haven't seen that one go ahead and check it out uh, if you do enjoy call of duty content then this is the channel for you please consider hitting the subscribe button smashing the thumbs up and don't forget to hit that little bell notification icon so that you are are notified every single time I upload a brand new Call of Duty video. And until the next one, I'm gone.